Welcome to Gourmet Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. What will plastic ban mean for chippy lane prices? River species in England treble over past 30 years despite pollution and sewage scandals. Thousands have taken up urban beekeeping. The reaction from neighbors is not always sweet. How your diet affects your skin, according to experts. Possibility of holding inaugural Global Peace Summit discussed during Peace Formula meeting in Malta. What will plastic ban mean for chippy lane prices? BBC. Kebab shops on Caroline Street in Cardiff are prepared for a ban on single-use plastics, with some traders already scrambling to purchase eco-friendly alternatives. The ban, which includes plastic cutlery and trays, has been introduced by the Welsh government in a bid to reduce plastic waste. Traders have reported shortages of eco-friendly products and said the alternatives are more expensive, with suppliers having only limited quantities. The next phase of the ban, in 2026, will cover single-use carrier bags, polystyrene lids for cups and food containers made of oxo-degradable plastics. River species in England treble over past 30 years despite pollution and sewage scandals. Telegraph. Freshwater biodiversity in English rivers has increased over the past 30 years, despite concerns about raw sewage pollution, according to scientists at the UK Centre for Ecology and Hydrology and Brunel University London. The researchers found that the diversity of freshwater invertebrates has grown across all types of river and region in the country. The species most at risk from pollution, including mayflies, stoneflies, and caddisflies, have tripled in diversity over the period. However, growth slowed from 2003. In September, the Office for Environmental Protection identified possible breaches of environmental law over the handling of combined sewer overflows. Thousands have taken up urban beekeeping. The reaction from neighbors is not always sweet. The Sydney Morning Herald. The number of backyard beekeepers in New South Wales, NSW, Australia, has almost doubled in the past four years, reaching nearly 14,000. The increase has led to some issues, including aggressive bees and increased competition for native pollinators. However, the beekeeping boom has also had positive effects, such as increasing awareness of the importance of bees and the benefits of honey production. The NSW Department of Primary Industries has reported an increase in registered beekeepers and hives in the state, with the growth primarily coming from the recreational sector. How your diet affects your skin, according to experts. The Sydney Morning Herald. Diet can have an impact on the skin, with certain nutrient deficiencies causing skin problems. Some studies have shown that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables and fish can lead to fewer wrinkles, while the Mediterranean diet has been linked to a lower risk of skin cancer. Meanwhile, cutting back on sugary and starchy foods can help with acne. However, there is limited evidence to suggest that dietary changes can treat skin conditions, and it is generally best to obtain nutrients from food rather than supplements. The possibility of holding inaugural Global Peace Summit discussed during Peace Formula meeting in Malta. Yahoo! During a meeting in Malta, national security and foreign affairs officials discussed the possibility of holding a global peace summit involving heads of states and governments. The meeting focused on key principles for achieving peace in Ukraine, such as nuclear and radiation safety, food security, energy security, the release of prisoners, and the restoration of territorial integrity. The officials also stated that they will work together to ensure international support for a comprehensive and lasting peace for Ukraine and the world. Representatives from over 65 countries attended the meeting in Malta, including Armenia for the first time. Credit crunch concerns hit highest level since 2008. Telegraph. According to data from EY, the proportion of businesses blaming profit warnings on tighter credit conditions has reached the highest level since the financial crisis. In the third quarter of 2023, 33% of profit warnings cited challenges securing credit, the highest percentage since 2008. EY's quarterly report also revealed that a fifth of profit warnings referenced a slowing housing market. The report comes as rising interest rates and inflation have squeezed balance sheets, putting pressure on businesses in the form of higher borrowing costs. EY's Joe Robinson said the data indicates that pressure on businesses is unlikely to ease in the near future. After Malta meeting, Kiev official reveals progress on plan to end war, hold Russia to account. Yahoo! A meeting held in Malta discussed the five key points of Ukraine's peace formula which aims to end the war with Russia. These points are, nuclear and radiation safety, food security, energy security, the release of all prisoners and deportees, and the restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity and world order. The meeting was attended by representatives of 66 states and international organizations. Working groups have developed plans for each of the issues, 
with the meeting in Malta described as a logical continuation of two previous meetings held in Copenhagen and Jeddah, looked to New England for a last-minute pickup ahead of Week 8. Yahoo! Yahoo Fantasy Football Live analysts Andy Behrens and Matt Harmon discuss the latest transaction trends in Yahoo Fantasy Leagues ahead of Sunday's main slate. They advise fantasy football managers to consider adding Kendrick Bourne from the New England Patriots and Daryl Henderson from the Los Angeles Rams. Bourne's average depth of target was less than five yards last week, suggesting he is a safe option for Mac Jones. Meanwhile, Henderson is the Rams' featured runner and has a good chance of performing well against the Dallas Cowboys. Effects of psychedelics like magic mushrooms can last for days or weeks, new research finds. Yahoo! After an off-duty Alaska Airlines pilot accused of trying to bring down a plane mid-flight said he had consumed magic mushrooms before boarding, psychedelic researchers say the event should be a cautionary tale, especially for people who think they might be able to overcome a tenacious mental illness by taking a psychedelic drug on their own. The Amazon secret overstock section is bursting with huge savings starting at $6. Yahoo! Amazon has a secret section with overstock items that are available at discounted prices. These items can simplify and make everyday life easier. Some of the featured items include the Gelife Adult Bento Lunch Box, which has five compartments and two sauce containers, the Dash Mini Maker Electric Round Griddle, which is perfect for making individual servings of various foods, and the Mafeso USB Outlet Extender Surge Protector, which provides multiple outlets and USB ports in a compact design. Other items featured include the Topist Angry Mama Microwave Cleaner, which helps to steam off encrusted gunk in the microwave, the IAMP self-stirring mug, which has a battery-operated spinner to keep beverages well mixed, and the Silpet baking mat, which replaces parchment paper and greasing methods in baking. Additionally, the Zernan four-tier stackable small shoe rack, the Alwyn Housewares premium silicone set of two cooking tongs, and the Temola meat thermometer are also featured. These discounted items are available on Amazon and can be shipped for free with Amazon Prime. The featured items are highly rated by customers and provide practical solutions to everyday problems. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your resident observer from the Six Degrees world, The Six Doctor. Today, we have a mix of news stories that cover a range of topics from environmental issues to international peace discussions, as well as some interesting insights into diet and fantasy football. Strap yourselves in for a whirlwind tour of the latest headlines. Let's start with the plastic ban in Cardiff. Kebab shops on Caroline Street are preparing for a ban on single-use plastics, but it seems that traders are facing some challenges in finding eco-friendly alternatives. Suppliers are struggling to keep up with demand, leading to shortages and higher prices. Looks like those greasy trays and plastic cutlery might become a thing of the past, but at what cost? In a surprising twist, despite concerns about pollution and sewage scandals, freshwater biodiversity in English rivers has actually increased over the past 30 years. Scientists have found that the diversity of freshwater invertebrates has grown, with even the most vulnerable species thriving. It seems like these little critters have found a way to adapt and survive in less than ideal conditions. Talk about resilience. Moving on to Australia, it seems that backyard beekeeping is all the buzz in New South Wales. The number of beekeepers has nearly doubled in the past four years, bringing with it both positive and negative effects. While the increase in honey production and awareness of bees' importance is great, it has also led to some issues like aggressive bees and competition with native pollinators. I guess the neighbors aren't always thrilled about their new honeymaking neighbors. Now, let's talk about something that hits close to home for many of us, our skin. According to experts, what we eat can actually affect our skin. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and fish can lead to fewer wrinkles, while the Mediterranean diet has been linked to a lower risk of skin cancer. On the flip side, cutting back on sugary and starchy foods can help with acne. So, next time you reach for that candy bar, think twice, your skin might thank you for it. In international news, officials from over 65 countries gathered in Malta to discuss a possible global peace summit involving heads of states and governments. The focus was on achieving peace in Ukraine and ensuring support for a comprehensive and lasting peace. It's heartening to see countries coming together to work towards a better world. Maybe we'll finally find the elusive peace formula. Now, let's shift gears to the business world. Concerns about a credit crunch are at their highest level since the 2008 financial crisis, with many businesses citing tighter credit conditions as the cause of profit warnings. Rising interest rates and inflation have put pressure on businesses, making it harder for them to secure credit and stay afloat. Looks like businesses will have to tighten their belts and navigate these choppy waters. Speaking of Ukraine, progress is being made on a plan to end the war with Russia. 
During the meeting in Malta, representatives discussed the five key points of Ukraine's peace formula, including nuclear and radiation safety, food security, and the restoration of territorial integrity. Working groups have developed plans for each issue, bringing us one step closer to a resolution. Let's hope this momentum continues. And now, for some lighter news, fantasy football. Our Yahoo Fantasy Football Live analysts have some last-minute picks for you ahead of Week 8. They recommend adding Kendrick Bourne from the New England Patriots and Daryl Henderson from the Los Angeles Rams. Bourne is a safe option for Mac Jones, while Henderson is the Rams' featured runner. So, if you're looking for that extra boost to your fantasy team, these might be the players to watch. Last but not least, we have a cautionary tale about the effects of psychedelic drugs. An off-duty pilot accused of trying to bring down a plane mid-flight claimed to have consumed magic mushrooms before boarding. This incident serves as a reminder that psychedelic drugs should not be taken lightly, especially for those who are dealing with mental illnesses. Let's leave the magic mushrooms for the fairy tales, shall we? And there you have it, folks, a roundup of the latest news from around the world. Plastic bans, biodiversity surprises, buzzing bees, diet and skin, peace discussions, credit crunch concerns, fantasy football insights, and cautionary tales about psychedelic drugs. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? Now, I turn it over to you, my wonderful audience. What are your thoughts on these news stories? Do you have any burning questions or intriguing insights to share? The floor is yours. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.